Hello everyone, this is the Gift of Rot, and this is part 18 of my campaign. Um, it's been a while since I got a video out. I've been very busy. I've been having trouble with getting videos out consistently. I can assure you that'll probably change in the, in the summer. I mean, I pretty much have all the time in the world during then, but that's still, like, that's, that's still a good three months away. So nothing to really wait on for now. So, last video, we ended up Mighty winning General the Siege of Damascus. Sire. And... Alright, so here we are. So this Pontic army, last time, declared war on us, this Parthian, my bad. The Pontics are up there, I'm worried about them. They have a giant stack up there. Clearly they have nothing to do with it, besides attack me. So that is worrying. I would like to maybe... You know... Sire. Actually, let's, let's do this. Set him up there to strengthen that city. And then we will train some guys in here. That'll work. So... Last video, the Parthians attacked us. So now we're at war with them making the situation a bit more interesting since now we have them harassing us actually because of that and because Sire. Carthage is not a threat right now I will bring Sire. these troops my liege mighty general uh might not actually be a good idea Onward. no more moves sire can we like retrain these guys okay that'll make them happy for now Mighty General. Peasants. But anyway. Onward. Forward. Forward. March. March. Move anyway. Out. Sire. So we will be bringing these guys. Actually, these peasants right here. March. Onward. They're like. Oh, hey, we'll send them like. March. Onward. Oh, I don't know. We could send them up here to Forward. help out a city that needs a good garrison of peasants. Orders. Anyway. So, I know I'm gonna get slaughtered by this army right here because, you know, they have, like, cataphracts and general unit and eastern generals like that are pretty good. Egyptian ones, too. Sire! Egyptian generals are no exception, but they're chariots, so that makes them a bit different. Sire! It's a good and a bad thing, sort of, for their chariots. So, let's, let's manage our cities here. Pontus is doing okay. Let's... You know, uh, these... This, this city has a really big culture penalty. Because the Seleucids... It, it was their old capital, so... It probably had all Seleucid buildings. Seleucid is counted as a Greek culture, I think, as well. So, I say we can build a market here. This is pretty much a trade town for now, so. Sire! That Seleucid army is just trapped in here. Actually, that fort right there fell down or something, so that will not be a problem as of now. However, this Parthian army is, and Sire. because of that, Sire. we will Mighty send all these guys down here, except for maybe... Well, we want our slingers. Let's take our... Hmm. I think we could leave a thing of slingers down to defend, maybe. Attack! Of course, Damascus, Moves Damascus is uh, Lord. very unhappy, so we will simply do that to make them happy. 
and repair the walls. Damascus, surprisingly, is a small town. I would have expected it to be way bigger. Since, you know, it was their capital and everything, they pretty much... That was pretty much their main city for a really long time. I guess not. So... You know, my plan after taking Damascus and pretty much taking Ready to sail was just to maybe go for the Romans. But now that the Parthians are getting involved and trying to halt my expansion, I now must deal with them as Mighty well. Mighty General! Prepare for First battle! Thing I do, repel their offense. And then after we finish that, then we can go on the offense. We'll check out our towns. Sardis. And as far as the other towns, Alexandria. Losing money. Not very good. I still think, uh, maybe. I think a bazaar maybe would be a good choice for them. So they can actually stop losing money for the time being. Shrink of Police HQ that does a lot, but at the same time, I know this temple of said takes even less time to build, and it does even more, so I will simply build that. My lead. Engage um, the enemy! Everything looks okay. And that means we can go ahead and end our turn. Moving those guys. What's that all about? What? I don't know. Well, that town is making like 300 less gold now. Oh, no way. I knew it. I we called it. No way. Yeah, it's not happening. Retreat! I can't fight Out them. of moves, great lord. No way. <laughs> that is very nice. Oh. The rebels are attacking me now. I think it'll be a hard battle, but if I'm careful and use my resources wisely, then I can win. Because, I mean, the rebels, so number one, they have the morale. Um... What's the word? Disadvantage? Rebels have less morale than regular factions. Await my orders. First of all, Units. let's get our units back here. First thing to do, get a hill advantage up here. Actually, uh... Just bring these guys back there. And... We will line up our guys as so, and I don't think there's really much they can do about it, because they are coming out of their town to attack me. Looks like they got some eastern infantry, some archers, very minimal upgrades on all these. I thought they had more. Where's everyone else? Oh, are they chasing my guys? Units. They might be. Let's Unit let's run. Just, there they are. Okay, that's there's the better troops. This looks like um Bedouin archers. These guys are Arab cav. Let's slow down. Let's uh yeah we can afford to keep running. Let's go. Well, let's stop running from here. We don't need to run anymore. Infantry. Okay, so... Move out! Move out! That. Units. Then, we can always move this guy way up here. Like that. So that we can 
people shoot these guys and not accidentally shoot the backs of my men. Units, Units fighting for as you were. What are they doing? Oh, what? What are you? Stop! Oh, looks like they're getting a bit tricky there. March! Well, if we're gonna be like that, then. Shooting the backs of my men is no longer a concern. Because I know these guys are gonna take out my archers if I'm not careful. 98 to 97. Really? What are you doing? these Bedouin archers, but we're not killing a lot of them. We're, these archers, we are pretty much slaughtering them. We're killing about seven or so guys per volley, so I know that they will fall very quickly. Yeah, these guys are now down to 66. Let's shoot these guys from point blank, because I know they're probably going to rout if we do that. They are exhausted, so to be honest, I'm not even sure if they can take my archers. Let's just get some kills. They're gonna break them. And there we go. The enemy general has been killed! Now we will see the measure of his soldiers' courage. Well, the archers were gone, so maybe we actually just killed them. Phalanx formation. We're getting another point. Now let's shoot these Bedouin archers. Still have missiles, so they are posing a threat to my guys. And they're in a row. Uh, let's see if we can't route these guys with the missiles. Did we hit him? The enemy cowards okay, we didn't route him with flaming missiles that time. Victory yeah. is complete. We got a heroic victory. You know, I think heroic victories don't have so much to do with kills, but being outclassed according to the balance bar. Victory! Oh. We have conquered! Oh, that's a problem. They are quite a rowdy populace. Let's, uh... I say we exterminate the populace. That'll keep them under control. There we go. So this is now a town. You know, in hindsight, maybe it wasn't such a good idea to exterminate, maybe just enslave or something, but... Things going on. Petra. Pretty 
Let's just slaughter him. Mighty general. Literally. Onward! Out of moves, great lord. And I say I don't know. Ooh, what's this? Oh, this guy's a family member. Maybe we should go and kill him. That could be a very viable next course of action. My lead. Let's, let's get these guys. We can afford them. We have fourteen thousand in our. So money is not is Sire. such of an issue. So we were in the middle of training those guys when suddenly this Pontic army attacked, as I kind of expected, but not really. Let's check him out. So he's got Peltists, Eastern Infantry, um, Hillmen. These guys are. I think his infantry is going to falter against my walls. Do they have any siege equipment? The only thing I don't want is him coming, forcing me to come out and fight him. Because I know my I can't leash. take him on like that. Um, oh jeez, this is not good. This is very bad. Um, my liege. You know, I guess Forward. we'll just hole in here. And if the army attacks, then okay, Sire. we'll be able to repel them. My liege, mighty general. Sire. So I guess one advantage is that Sire. the Pontics aren't over Orders. here. So we can still move, move troops out. and make this town stronger, if need be. Orders, Maybe Sire. like mighty general. These guys, my liege. I don't know. I think maybe. Sire. These are really all that. Onward. And we're gonna adjust this a little bit. Alcanars is actually a terrible military city, so we will have to build some towns to aid the Pontic Egyptian War. Uh, looking over, it looks like it's been about 17 minutes or so. And. Sire! So that if I fight this battle, it'll probably end up being like 30 minutes. Oh, they actually do have siege equipment, never mind. So they will be attacking next turn. Sire! So I do have to attack this turn, or else this Jerusalem is pretty much dead. Anyway. So that will be it for this video. I, I hope you enjoyed it, because I next video will be the battle. It will also be other things such as probably maybe this battle and if the Pontics attack Sardis we will be seeing a battle there that I am actually confident I could win I feel I feel pretty confident with this army especially because of all the good mercenaries um, Cretan Archer is very good Orders? Balearic Slingers are very good Mighty oh, General Brodian. What, is, what do the Balearic Slingers look like? Oh... I forget. Anyway... Sire. I'd, I'd have to look at a picture of one, I forget what they look like. Anyway... I know Balearic Slingers are pretty good too. Rhodian Slingers I know are good. Um, Militia... Sire. Mercenary Hoplites. Mighty General. Militia Hoplites are actually pretty bad. Mercenary Hoplites are not that bad, actually. I mean, comparing him to... A unit of like Nile Spearmen. It's it's pretty much on Mighty the level General. of Nile Spearmen. Mighty General, Sire. Yeah, so that's actually Mighty not too General. bad. So Orders? sorry about the little two-minute rant or so at the end, but that will be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and goodbye.